Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to your program called Tarot, Your Love Story for February 2019, 2019 and this is for you coming from cancer. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic Tarot cards and the, for this card that I'm going to pull will be to do with your first 15 days of February and I will talk to you about a new romance to see whether that's going to come along for you and uh, it's a nasty card. So I would have to say, if you do find a new romance in the first 15 days of February, be very cautious, don't celebrate. It comes loaded with complications and problems. Somebody from your past, it could be well as well. So be very cautious. I'm going to pull another card to talk to you about your ongoing romance. And let's see what the card says. And this is the card which is called death. Well, it doesn't mean death in that way. It means that what is in the past, forget it and leave it and start a new beginning. So I have to translate this card to say that your romance is going to have a lot, ongoing romance is going to have a lot of headache and problems to the point of breaking down, to the point of breaking down in the first 15 days. And then from there on end, you will have a new life. So if you try your best to save it, it's up to you. It's going to be very tough going. All the zodiac, the zodiac sign and the planets here show they are all against you. So very bad news about your ongoing romance. Let me pull this card to talk to you about your marriage and let's see what this card says. Well, is the card says that the sign of the planet Mars. Where is it? Right here on the top. So the card says that anger, conflict, provocation. That's something you have to avoid at all costs. So you are listening to me. And if your marriage partner brings up this kind of attitude of aggression, well, stay calm. The most you can stay calm. And let the 15 days, tell yourself it's only 15 days. Is the plan is doing all this mischief. If you're not careful, Many of these problems multiply, the card says, from one to another. So it's going to be a never-ending headache if you start the conflict in the first 15 days. Stay calm, tell yourself, let the time pass in your marriage area. Let's go to the last 15 days of February for you coming from cancer. And I will tackle your new romance first. <clears throat> a much, much better card. Well, so much improvement from those first 15 days. This last, 15, this last 13 days where your romance, new romance is concerned, the news is you will find one. This person may have a bad temper or anger for some reason. So if you want this person so badly, you will have to somehow remain calm in the last 13 days. That's all you need to do, stay calm. Don't fight back. This card will have to do with your ongoing romance that you may have. And it's a much, much better card. Well, it says your ongoing romance is going to flower very beautifully. Except for one problem for you coming from cancer. And that is some difference in how money should be spent. So there seems to be a purchase of some kind that you may want to make in these last 13 days and that's where the problem lies. So to keep the harmony if you want to be agreeable with your marriage partner as to as your romance partner sorry. Be agreeable with your ongoing romance partner and let the ongoing partner decide and they'll be harmonious. Let's now talk about your marriage area for the last 13 days and it's a very good card for you coming from cancer. It's a good card in the sense that everything goes perfectly according to plan in the last 13 days. And stability and happiness is also seen. If I can find fault with this card, it's to do with either your arrogance in the last 13 days or your marriage person's uh, partner's arrogance. So since you are listening to me, try not to show any arrogance. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages. There will be some people of these ages that the card will show who are going to be having a spectacular luck in romance or marriage for the whole month of February for you coming from cancer. Let me see. 
on this card. Well, I'll have to say that if you happen to be the ages of 21 or 30 or 39 or 48 or 57 or 66 or 75, you're going to be one very lucky person, whether in romance, whether in marriage, and things are going to be favoring you. You're going to be very happy and be, have plenty of support from your love partner. If you're not of these ages, you'll need to have a 90-minute session with me. In this, uh, in this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years. It will cost you USD 50. I'll tackle all areas of your life, give you plenty of information, your lucky lottery numbers, lucky days, lucky directions, all that. We'll talk about that later more. Now, this card I'm going to pull for the last 13 days about your marriage. And it's a wonderful card. It's a card that says long-term views are very good. So tell yourself little short problems that you have, short-term problems in the last 13 days. Keep them under control. Don't bring them up. Try to be negotiable with your marriage partner. The long-term view is very good. And especially this could be translated as a money card. So either good news about money from your, part, from your marriage partner's side or good news whether it's from your side, you're going to be very lucky in this last 13 days where marriage is concerned. News can be so good. <clears throat> now I want to talk to you about your lucky colors. So your lucky colors. For the whole month of February, your luckiest color would be purple. So wear plenty of purple as much as you can and even touch purple in some way or another and you will have a wonderful area of love and romance where your marriage and romance is concerned for the whole month of February. Now about a lucky direction. Why direction? Because nine planets are circling us and when we look east or west or north or south we are going to face some planet as well. And for you coming from Cancer, the lucky direction to give you inspiration of, of love or in marriage would be north. So try to face north when you want inspiration regarding romance or how to help the marriage to become better. <clears throat> now about a zodiac sign that could cause you trouble in the month of February. And let's see who could this person be. And this is a card of Sagittarius. So somebody from Sagittarius is going to cause you problems in romance or marriage. If it's a new romance partner you found with Sagittarius, tell yourself you've got a big headache in this whole month of February. If it's your ongoing romance partner is from Sagittarius, tell yourself you'll be, have to be very, very cautious. Trouble is brewing very fast. And if it's your marriage partner from Sagittarius, you're also going to be in trouble. So you'll just have to avoid arguments and you'll have to avoid causing stress. And that way you will help yourself. Now, who can you form an attachment to? Somebody who is interested in you or you are interested in somebody, you coming from Cancer. And from this card, I would favor somebody from Gemini. So somebody from Gemini is going to make you very happy in areas of love and romance. And if it's your ongoing romance partner or your new romance partner or your ongoing marriage partner who comes from Gemini, tell yourself a lot of happiness is waiting in store. And if you're interested in somebody in Gemini, you will see that that person will return the interest a lot in you. So somebody from Gemini is going to make you very happy. Well, about my 90 minute session, I charge USD 50 to tackle your next seven, eight or nine years. That's based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. And during these 90 minutes, I'll give you a lot of information, your business, your job, your finances, your health, your love story. And I will take, I'll give you information about your lucky lottery numbers and about your lucky days and lucky gemstones and lucky directions and lucky colors, plenty of information. So I look forward to you emailing me. My email address again is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9, at gmail.com. And I look forward to getting an email from you so that we can discuss this 90-minute session. Until then, thank you and good luck.